maybe in your your own words, if you can say what led up to um, you being released by BSU or well investigated by BSU. Yeah, well, I'll kind of go back and tell the story a little bit again, and which makes it easier to talk about everything if that's okay. Um, you know, the day of the event, um, we were having practice down at the football stadium at the Chet Anderson Stadium, and and one of the things that uh, is very popular now is to have warm-up music for the team. It's, you know, you're tired, you're hot, you, you want to uh, have a good practice. So uh, we've had this rule for the 20 years that I've been here about whatever music that we're going to play, we want to not use foul language, obscenities, you know, things that aren't right in, in the words to the song. So I think the guys have, like say for 20 years, have known that. So anyway, that day we started out with practice and uh, all of a sudden the warm up music was put on and all of a sudden I thought I heard some inappropriate words. And uh, I got upset and uh, started to, to tell the guy, shut the music off. And uh, what I said was I was referring to the words that I heard in the song. And so I told the guys, hey, shut the music off. We don't listen and play words that have F words this, F words that. And I didn't say the F word. I just said it just like that. And then I said N, N word this and N word that. Those were the four words that I heard. Um, unfortunately, and my big regret is, I think the last two words that were subconsciously in my mind were the two N words, and I said the full N word. So, you know, to repeat what I did, I yelled to everybody, shut the music off, we don't play F this, F that, and then N this, N that, and I said the two N words. So, I was trying to, you know, follow up on our rules and not have inappropriate music being played and uh, that's what happened. Have you ever said those words in the past? No and that's the part that you know will haunt me is I've been in coaching 35 some years now and 20 at BSU and um, I, you know I, I don't know why I've tried to rack my brains and figure that out and I haven't been able to put that together why I did. And uh, like I said, the only thing I could think of is, you know, those were the last two words that subconsciously came out from the song. But uh, more so than that, no, I, I'm, I, I don't use profanity. Um, and why I use those words on that particular day after 20 years, I, I don't know. Um, can you talk about the immediate backlash from your players, um, other coaching staff, what have you? Sure. Um, so they shut the music off and uh, we proceeded to start practice. And about halfway through practice, one of the players came up. Uh, I was, I was uh, teaching a drill and he said, Coach, can I talk to you? I go, yeah. And he goes, I can't play for you anymore. I'm leaving practice. And I said, well, hey, what, what's up? I go, can't we talk about this after practice? And he said, no, you said the word. And I said, what are you talking about? And I went, oh, you mean the word from the song? And he said, yeah. And I said, I agree with you. It's offensive. It's not a good word. That's why I said, shut the music off. And the player said, no, coach, you don't get it. You can't say that word. And I went, I was just repeating the words to the song. I, uh, can we talk about this after practice? And he kind of was like, well, I'm going to leave. So one of the coaches talked him into staying. And uh, we proceeded to finish practice that day. And I sensed that what I did, you know, really came across incorrectly. Or I was trying to talk, you know, about defending myself about the words to the song. I think it came across in a different way. So I said, guys, at the end of practice, let's have a team talk here. And I apologized right away. I said, I think things came out wrong. I think it came out differently than what I was intending to do, which was, you know, follow the rules and not have those kind of words being said. And, but I think the guys, you know, their feelings were hurt. And we talked about it a little bit and then we dismissed the team and everybody left to go to dinner. And then I started hearing rumors that night that the team was calling a meeting in the morning to talk more about this. And, uh, 
So I said, well, I kind of said to the staff, we'll be in there already. Uh, before they get there, I'm going to go in and talk some more about this with the team. And the team uh, had the meeting first, and then uh, I was allowed to come in. And as I entered the room, there were a number of players in the front of the room, and then just a number of players in the back of the room. So I went to address the guys in the front of the room, and I said, guys, can, can you answer a question for me? I said, what's the definition to you guys of the N-word? And they're like, derogatory to kids of color and everything and I said bingo I agree and that's why we don't have, allow the music to be played and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking after you guys and everybody I don't want that being played and they just are like coach you know we're we don't feel like your apology is sincere we're not buying it and I said okay I'm sensing that you guys are really really hurt and this has gone in a a sour direction I go why don't I um, offer to take like a diversity class learn what I did wrong and they're like no that's you know that's not enough that's we don't think that will fit the you know the punishment part of it and I said okay guys let's go even further I go I would like to offer to self-impose a game suspension for myself I'll sit out to show you guys I get it this is you know it was really turned out wrong and that's when the team made the comment that coach were, you know, if you're the head coach, we're not going to play. And I was like, wow. So I turned around to the rest of the guys and just to get the feedback from the rest of the team. And, and they said they were in support of, you know, as a team that if I was the head coach, they didn't want to play because of using that word. So I thought it'd be best to leave. And I did. And, uh, all of a sudden, a uh, few hours later, I was uh, I was uh, placed on administrative leave, and uh, here we are. So that's kind of what happened that through the whole story. So you are still currently on administrative leave, um, and somebody has stepped in as head coach in in the meantime. Um, what would you like to see come out of this investigation? Yeah, and I think that's a great question, and uh, it's really where I'm I'm at with my heart right now is is healing. Um, I love those players. I recruited them. Um, you know, I don't want this to have happened. I feel bad it happened, and I want restorative healing. And some of the things that we're looking at doing right now are are holding some diversity classes some some uh, lectures uh, possibly bring in somebody on campus to uh, to help with that process um, I also had after the event happened I went online and I took a Harvard a Harvard bias test to again learn some more about what I did and and could do different so my goal right now is is to um, is to have healing and have the kids feel better, have dialogue. I look at this as one of those rare educational moments that are left in, in teaching uh, to find out what I did wrong, what, what, you know, how the players perceived it. You know, and right now I feel like there's a lot of division with our community, our college, our alums, everybody is what happened, how do we solve this problem? And I think the, the answer is is to everybody get educated on, if you use that word, what happens. So that's what I would like to see happen. Um, there was speculation before um, this came forward of exactly what happened. There was some speculation about what had happened. Um, why didn't you speak out before now? It's been almost two months um, since it happened. Yeah. There's, uh, I'm not allowed to speak on my work situation, and uh, I think you know that's made it hard, you know, to get the story out. But that's just one of those restrictions that was put on me. Uh, I wasn't allowed to have contact with the school or or anybody at the school. Um, that's what happens when you're put on the leave. So that's one of the things that I'm really not allowed still at this point to talk much about my leave and the restrictions and what's placed on me. So it's the best answer I can give you there. If, if someone else had said this kind of language, what do you think should have happened to them? 
you know what I've learned is is uh, you know in any situation if it was me or somebody else the people would have been offended and you know where my intent was to talk about the music again I didn't call any individual the word it was it was to turn the music off um, you know I, I would have I would have hoped for some kind of healing or figuring out, you know, this educational piece that we're talking about. And I think that's the part that I felt, you know, is missing right now. Uh, I, I wish I would have had, and I've never had this opportunity in the 20 years I'd be at Bennett BSU to have any diversity or bias training. Um, it's, ne it's never been something that's been offered to me. And even after the event has happened, I've asked and I've reached out for that from the university and have not got a response back on what I could have done different or any kind of a class or training. Um, so I wish I would have had training earlier and I wish I would have had you know something I could do now, but uh, I haven't been given those means to do that. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? If you could say something to the players that were offended and, and the ones that stuck by them. Is there anything that you would say to them? Yeah, you know, I think what I learned, you know, through the process was, you know, I have an obligation as a head coach to defend the rules. And I think it came across that um, I was defensive about just sticking up for the rules. And as I've learned, you know, the word carries more than you know just your average word and and uh, the players always felt like my apology wasn't sincere and had I been able to have contact with those guys I wish I could do that is just give them the sincere apology they deserve and uh, which I think would start the healing and help in this process too which is our ultimate goal anything else that you'd like to say I do not I don't have anything else